In this video, we will be talking about confidence and if it's useful in improving your attractiveness. First, let's understand what we are talking about. Confidence in this case is referring to what many self-improvement channels will refer to when it comes to attracting women. The idea is that by being more confident, you simply will be perceived as more attractive, especially by women. However, this isn't the whole truth. Confidence definitely can help. However, the issue is the idea that you can simply just be more confident. Confidence comes from competence. The better you are at something, the more confident at it you become. There is a difference between true confidence and deluding yourself. This is why things such as fat acceptance are quite damaging. Being told to just be confident in your body isn't helpful as your real-world experiences won't change you simply. Because of your confidence, you will still be shamed and experience the negatives of being obese or unattractive. Yes, you can decide to be entirely delusional as many are especially with the influx of plus-size models promoting literal life-threatening obesity to the impressionable youth. However, eventually that delusion will shatter when you are confronted with reality. So when these gurus say, just be confident, do not think of it as a change in your mind first. No, instead, you should think of what actions you can change to become competent enough to be confident. The best example for men would be fighting. Majority of men probably you included, are completely deluded in their ability to fight. This delusion persists until a real-life action such as getting into a fight or training a martial art shatters this delusion, and then either you continue to be delusional or you seek to improve. Now, if I was to give you the advice, just be more confident when you fight after you just got knocked out. Is that helpful? Of course not. The better thing to do would be to suggest an action, such as training a martial art, and as you become more competent at the skill, your confidence in it will increase. This is common sense for every skill, such as drawing, singing, etc., all of which none of you are confident at, as you know you are not competent at them. Yet for some reason, when it comes to attracting and talking to women, this logic goes away. So how can you be more confident in your ability to attract women? The answer is obvious, by attracting more women, and the way to do this is to look smacks and then talk to women. Even if you do not have the confidence, you must do it only by exposure can you improve at something, and eventually the confidence will follow. Guys, the reason attractive people are confident is because they have experienced positive reinforcement. You must be able to attract women to be confident at it. If you have never attracted a woman in your life, why would you expect to just be able to be confident? You wouldn't expect to just be able to sing opera having never sang before. And this is why you must look smacks. Yes, you can just talk to more women, which you should do. But the quickest way to get this positive reinforcement is by being attractive. Your interactions with women will be far better if you are physically attractive to them. And this will make it far easier to develop the confidence around them. Now you understand the importance of competency for confidence. Is there any situations when you should just be confident, even if you don't have the competence? Well... If you have already looks maxed and received positive reinforcement, yet are still too anxious, I think you would genuinely benefit from just frauding your confidence as it will not come across as delusion because of how you look and may help improve your interactions with women. However, the likeliness this happens is very low since we can help become more confident as we gain skill. So next time you hear, just be confident. Think of the actions you must complete to gain that confidence. And remember to keep improving.